Hello everyone, welcome back to Bluefin Aquatics where we share our knowledge and experience with you. So what we're actually going to be doing today, we're going to take off with a part two of our gallery now. Um, part one was going through our breeding area and also our area where we actually do our grow outs. Uh, this video here, we're going to concentrate on going into the gallery and having a look at uh, what we've been breeding uh, so far and seeing what actually is in the tank. And what we're going to do too for the next video is we're going to be looking at some of the new species that we've actually got in and we'll be looking at uh, to breeding them as well. So what we're going to do, we can take a little trip into the gallery and uh, we'll go through the tanks. All right, without further ado, let's go. Here we are in the gallery where we're going to take a bit of a tour around and see what we're actually being breeding, have a look in our breeding trays and then we're going to go through and go and have a look at the other tanks and what's coming up as well. So what we're going to do without further ado, we're going to go through and show you exactly what we've got. Okay, starting off on the top tanks here, in this tank here you can see a couple of the uh, blue fire mouth uh, in here. So what we're doing, we're just basically uh, keeping them in here together. We have another tank of them, but we just need them to grow a bit more size. And this is from one breeding. Um, unfortunately, we did lose uh, quite a few, um, but uh, we're on the track to start breeding some more as well. Okay, so in this tank here, you can see there's some bronze quarries and also some uh, whiptail catfish. As we mentioned, we're going to have them in every tank uh, as we go along. So these ones in here now, these are roughly about a month and a half old, these bigger ones. Uh, so these bronze quarries are basically ready to uh, be sold at any time. Okay, so we'll go to the next one here. Now these are albino long fin catfish in here. Uh, in roughly in here, there's one male and three females. Uh, they seem to be breeding quite well. Um, we're just going to show you the offspring shortly as we go through these videos. Okay, and in here, uh, as you can see at the very back there, there are our bronze quarries at the back there, and there's six, seven of those, um, and they breed quite well for us as well. Uh, we just basically turn on where we want them to breed. We'll just um, take half the water out and put cold water in it, and uh, that usually just gets them going to breed. Okay, so in this tank here, as you can see, there's some more long fin albino catfish. Uh, these are the offspring from the uh, parents that we just showed you in this tank. So what we're going to do um, is we'll show you in here. This is some of the offspring in here. Uh, we had to break them off into two, uh, two groups because the spawn was quite large uh, coming from three females. So in here, as you can see, there is uh, some more uh, long fin bristle nose. And in the next tank there again too, there is some also some long fin uh, albino catfish as well. And then plus on the next tank here, just your normal uh, catfish that we have in here. And there's about 20 or so in here. So, and in this next tank, as you can see, there's nothing in And there's actually a cross on that. What we're actually doing at the moment, we're sterilizing this tank because we had uh, an abundance of snails and, you know, when snails do happen, yeah, it's nice to have a few, but uh, when you get more than 100 or so in one tank, it's starting to look very unsightly. So actually, we just fill the tank up, put salt in there, and give it 24 to 48 hours, and uh, that tends to uh, cull them quite quickly. Uh, so that's the way we can control them ourselves. Right, and in the cross here, we've got some more uh, Cory's in this one. These are the um, Agazizi. Uh, the very back there, we're trying to get hold of them because they do like to hide. Oh, there they are on the top there. All right, and in our next tank here in our Cory's here, you can see scuttering along the bottom. These are our, what we call our gold stripe Cory's in here. And there's about eight to 10 of those in here. A bit young to be breeding at the moment, but uh, they are getting there. Okay, and in this tank here, uh, we've just placed them in this new tank today. Uh, these are our um, long fin quarries as well. Uh, these ones here have just been moved from the uh, tank uh, that had the salt in there. So these are the panda quarries. So as I said, they're a bit, still, still a bit jumpy at the moment because they've just got into the tank today. And going across the next one, now these ones hide very well too. These these ones are Lozoana, I think how we would put it, Lozoanus um, Corys are at the very back there. So uh, they're, they're doing very well. We've only had them for about two and a half months now. So they're a bit young again as into breeding. And in our next tank here, uh, this one here, so we've got Sedalus um, Corys in here. These are the wilds. Um, they're just settling themselves in. We've had them now for oh, a couple of months or so, so um, they're slowly getting there. Um, but as I said, they're very, very skittish. 
And next tank here, uh, we all know these, these are our albino catfish. Uh, there's some long fins in there and also some normals. The long fins will be coming out once we uh, sterilise uh, some of the other tanks. We'll split them up so we don't sort of mix the uh, breeds up. Okay, and along here, uh, as you can see along the back there, these are our peppered quarries in here. Uh, they're doing well and there's some small uh, bronze quarries in here as well. And like the others, there's also some uh, whiptails in here as well, which are, they are very good keeping the algae down to uh, very, very limited uh, space on this glass. All right, and on this one here, as you can see, they're breeding quite well. These are our multi fasciatus. Uh, these will be moving too. They're going to be going into their own uh, big three foot tank shortly. So we're just at the moment conditioning that tank ready for them to go into. All right, now in here is a bit of a mixed bundle too. Uh, we've got in here some more albino quarries. We also have in here um, the raw tail whip tails, which are just on the side here. And also the other ones that are actually in here, uh, these are the OBs that we've got in here. There's about 40 to 50 in here. And again, they'll be coming out of here soon, going into their own three foot tank as well. Okay, and in the next tank here, we're gonna have a look at our black quarries in here. There are probably two of the bronze quarries, they jump tanks, so I've got to actually get them out of that tank. And uh, we'll go from there. Or, and in this tank here, as you can see, now on the bottom we've got some uh, whip tails, as, as we mentioned, and also we've got bronze quarries which are growing out. Now the smaller species that are flying and sitting in and darting back and forth at the back, they're our uh, yellow-eyed ciglets which we've been breeding. Uh, these yellow-eyed ciglets are about a month old now, and uh, they are very slow in growing, so um, they'll be staying in this tank for another couple of months or so until uh, we put them in their own tank or we sell the fry off, depending on uh, how they look. All right, and in this tank here, we've got some L144s in here, the lemon-eyed catfish, and also we've got um, some Elise's in here as well, which we'll be breeding those in time. At the moment, they're just a bit too young. And in this tank here, we've got the uh, Benga ciglets in here uh, with the uh, whiptail catfish. So in here, roughly, there's probably around about 25 or so. So again, we're growing them out as well. And like the others, we're going to put them in their own tank as well. Okay, in this tank here there, um, I think you'd all know by looking at them, these are the ACIs. Uh, these are the first batch. We showed you another batch previously. Uh, this is from the same uh, colony. Now these here, these are about a month and a half old now, these ones, and there's, there's about 50, 60 of these in here. So again, like all our other fish, we'll feed them up, condition them up, and are ready to uh, sell them. So uh, yeah, that's the last of our uh, little tanks. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do. And if you'd like to hit the like button or you consider subscribing to the channel, that'd be good too. So we can uh, let other people know from our knowledge and experience and what we do here at Bluefin. All right, well, thanks for joining us and we'll see you in our next video. Oh, and we nearly forgotten uh, the fantastic way of editing. So in this one here, we've got ACIs in here, which are roughly about 50 in this one. This is just basically one spawn. So uh, again, like all our other little uh, uh, juveniles uh, and the fries, and also we like to keep them uh, well fed as well. So in this first lot here, the mother actually spat out nearly 50 fries, so as you can imagine. And these ones here are roughly now about six days old. And again, we'll be keeping posted on, on how well they actually are growing. Okay, well, thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.